I looked at food through lenses that I paid for when I signed up for various diets, whether it was Weight Watchers or whatever. And that, again, it removes you a little bit from the food that you're eating because it's like, well, this is the calorie or not calorie. This is the point value of the food. And so you begin to see it that way. Then when you're not signed up, you've completely lost all sense of reality about what you're consuming and then it all freewheels. And calories are free. They're on the back of pretty much every of all packaging. Yeah, it's like... Um it, it makes sense to keep people at arm's length from that information so that it, they're a lot easier to control mm -hmm. and to keep in, you know. I do a similar thing in my app where if you pay, you get access to the app. But then when you stop paying and you need to leave, although we have different memberships, if you just want to go cold turkey and stop paying, we can't afford to let you keep using that. So we're like, hey, you have to be a member of some kind to use the app. So I understand it from a business sense. I just don't think morally and ethically it's too sound to educate people about calorie control in that sense and then remove it. And I was out for dinner with my parents the other night. That's one of the first times I proper noticed uh, calories on menus. Mm. And looking at the desserts, I would usually, all the desserts mean the same to me. I'm not that much of a guy with a sweet tooth. Sticky toffee, pudding, creme brulee, like all these things. I'm like, yeah, they're all nice. What am I in the mood for? But then I remember seeing the coconut rice bowl was like 300 calories. And I think one of the sticky toffee pudding was 1300. <laughs> and I would never in a million years, if you said guesstimate, I would have been like, oh, they're all three to 500. 1300 fucking calories from a dessert that I'm not even that passionate about. Mm. I was there like, thank fuck this is here. But so many people tried tearing this down. Like so many people were like, but eating disorders. I was like, okay, but that you're using a small percentage of people to tear down something for other people. We should have menus without calories on for like specialist stuff. You know, it's like, it's even in this building today, have you noticed the little, things on the door so you can open a door with your arm and not your hand. Mm -hmm. I guarantee maybe one or two people in the building were like, I don't feel comfortable touching door handles and that's what they put in. <laughs> yeah. So like that, I'm not always, if so, if this was my building and someone was like, James, I don't want to touch a door handle, I think I'll get COVID. I'm like, cool, we have these things, but you can fucking buy them. And you know, like, <laughs> you know, if someone goes to a restaurant, oh, calories can be eaten, so it's not a problem. We have menus without uh, calories on, they're two pounds each, here you go, like, you know, there should, I, I understand the problem, but I think it's a bit fucking privileged for people again to say, no, don't let anyone have the information because I have a problem. 